Green in my eyes, I wonder why. You don't need analyzing, and there's no and it's not one there. so surprising I that you feel very strange, but nice. Bob Hope program coming up, 1959, Friday night. Nicht Rauchen. That's no smoking in German. When they write it in Russian, I'll start to worry. For me? Oh, I don't believe it. Well, look at that. No beer? Here we are in West Berlin, ladies and gentlemen. West Berlin, that's a PX surrounded by Russians. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, this has certainly been an unusual experience flying into Berlin. It's the first time I was ever in a corridor and didn't have to worry about the house detective. <laughs> As we came through the corridor, our pilot pointed out points of interest, trains, rivers, anti-aircraft guns. <laughs> now, it's a little ticklish. It's like sitting in a cellophane chair with a broken bottle underneath. <laughs> I want to tell you, flying here is really dangerous. This is the only place in the world where the pigeons travel by bus. Sometimes the Russian fighter planes come alongside to look you over, and you hope there's just window shopping. <laughs> and I won't say the Russians are doing much jamming, but on our radar scope, we were getting Amos and Andy. <laughs> now, we flew in last night from Frankfurt and landed at Tempelhof. It's very easy to land at Tempelhof. You just follow the laundry right down to the runway. <laughs> For you people that have never dug Wiener Schnitzel, Tempelhof is right in the center of Berlin, surrounded by apartment houses. We flew a foot too low and wound up having Christmas dinner with a family named Schultz. <laughs> but what a contrast going from West Berlin to East Berlin. It's like giving up Rhonda Fleming for Mark Kettle. <laughs> you know, there's quite a tense situation here. The Russians want to take over West Berlin. Of course, that was before I arrived. <laughs> but I don't know about this situation. I know one thing. The Russians will never take over the Berlin Hilton. Not at those prices. <laughs> Boy, what an operation that Conrad Hilton's got here in West Berlin. The first six floors are reserved for international spies. <laughs> knows what he's doing. The house detective is Peter Lorre. <laughs> you know, a funny thing, the people over here really know me. Whenever I walk down the streets of Berlin, they follow me yelling and cheering. Tell me, what does a schwein hunt mean? <laughs> Miss Elaine Dunn, right here. Bojangles, it's the guy they call Bojangles for me. He knew all the angles in and around Turksickory.
Where'd you get it? Supply Sergeant Gooped. <laughs> you better take it back before you get shot down by Clive Brook. Oh, I couldn't part with this, Hope. Why not? Drives him crazy at roll call. <laughs> and besides, you never need a toothpick. <laughs> I think you're an imposter. Just who are you, anyway? I'm a U-boat commander. My U-boat is parked on the Schlossstrasse. You got a U-boat parked in the Schlossstrasse? But that's a street, not a river. It is. No wonder it took me 20 years to go three blocks. <laughs> much. Thank you. I'm very thrilled to be here on this beautiful day. And uh, I've got a rock in each pocket. But anyway, here we are in the shadow of Vesuvius in beautiful Naples, the world's largest ashtray. <laughs> Vesuvius, I don't believe it. The Americans have been here 12 years. They still haven't put a filler tip on it. Now, but we're parked in the Bay of Naples broadcasting the world's largest anchovy, the USA Forestall. One of the great carriers of our fleet, better known as the African Queen. And I want to tell you, <laughs> the same fella gave me this hat, gave me that joke. <laughs> Mr. Coos. No, but I'm, this is a gorgeous ship. I'd like to see the box this came in. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> Is this, uh, what is this, a big Buick, or what is this? No, but it's just wonderful. This is really a long carrier. To give you an idea how long is this, one end is Russian. <laughs> and you should walk this once. Now, now I know what they mean by a poop deck. a beautiful sight once it's underway. All those oars going at once. <laughs> huh? But where'd you get it? Supply Sergeant Gooped. <laughs> you better take it back before you get shot down by Clive Brook. Oh, I couldn't part with this, Hope. Why not? Drives him crazy at roll call. <laughs> and besides, you never need a toothpick. <laughs> I think you're an imposter. Just who are you, anyway? I'm a U-boat commander. My U-boat is parked on the Schlossstrasse. <laughs> you got a U-boat parked in the Schlossstrasse? But that's a street, not a river. It is. No wonder it took me 20 years to go three blocks. <laughs> very much. Thank you. I'm very thrilled to be here on this beautiful day. And uh, I've got a rock in each pocket. But anyway, here we are in the shadow of Vesuvius in beautiful Naples, the world's largest ashtray. <laughs> Vesuvius, I don't believe it. The Americans have been here 12 years. They still haven't put a filler tip on it. No, but we're parked in the Bay of Naples broadcasting to the world's largest anchovy, the USA Forestall. One of the great carriers of our fleet, better known as the African Queen. And I want to tell you, <laughs> the same fella gave me this hat, gave me that joke. <laughs> Mr. Coos. No, but I'm, this is a gorgeous ship. I'd like to see the box this came in. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> Is this, uh, what is this, a big Buick, or what is this? No, but it's just wonderful. This is really a long carrier. To give you an idea how long is this, one end is Russian. <laughs> and you should walk this once. Now, now I know what they mean by a poop deck. a beautiful sight once it's underway. All those oars going at once. <laughs> huh? Ah, the bay is beautiful. There's a lot of white caps today. Lieutenant swimming back from Capri. <laughs> but I'm so thrilled to be here. And you know, as I look out on you, man, a wonderful warm feeling flows through me. And I know now, without a doubt, that Elvis is safe over here. <laughs> 
Uh, this great harbor was bombed many times during the war, but never before at this level. <laughs> I've only told a few jokes, and now I know what they mean by see Naples and die. <laughs> but it's great to stand here on the deck of the forest hall in the shadow of the Mount Vesuvius, the world's largest Zippo letter. <laughs> Mount Vesuvius with its garlic base and gorgonzola crater. <laughs> Looks like Jackie Gleason's pizza oven, doesn't it? <laughs> and this morning I had the pleasure of visiting Pompeii, the first GI housing tract. <laughs> now I took a look at the ruins. They looked at me. It was about even. <laughs> at Naples, and the food in Naples is just great. As I ate, I learned something. No wonder Perry Como can't move. <laughs> and how about that cafe espresso? That's a nice piece of coffee, isn't it? <laughs> and is that espresso strong? I spilled a couple this morning before I could clean it up and wrestle the mop out of my hand. <laughs> you get a purple heart here just for eating the food. Not a medal, a real purple heart. We've only been at sea one day. Don't tell me you're homesick already. Yeah, I guess I am. Funny thing, though, I'm homesick for a home I've never even seen. A little vine-covered cottage built just for two. Oh, no, not you. Well, this can't be love em and leave a Molly talking. Whatever became of that smart gal who used to kiss them quick and get home early? I kissed one slow. <laughs> he must have really been a dilly to do this to you. Where'd you meet him? At the USO canteen for service women. <laughs> he was a volunteer host doing his bit for the girls at the service. <laughs> I knew the minute I looked at him, he was one of those two-fisted men. Strong, vital, virile. You must be with the sea bees. leave you at the snack bar. You take over on the dance floor. No, thanks. I just had four dances with the Lady Marine. Oh, those GI shoes. I think she used to kick field goals for the Rams. <laughs> Any of them ever try to kiss you? Naturally. One even tried to... <laughs> All right, Bob, I'll relieve you at the snack bar. You take over on the dance floor. No, thanks. I just had four dances with the Lady Marine. Oh, those GI shoes. I think she used to kick field goals for the Rams. <laughs> Any of them ever tried to kiss you? Naturally. One even tried to bribe me with wine. You know the type of port in every sweetheart. People ask me why I take these trips. <laughs> Gina, I want to welcome you to our little Anapasto here. I'm very happy to be here and see all these boys. They were boys before you came out. 